Hey YouTube, what's up? Chris from Versus 3D down here at 3D Printing Canada bringing you another Palette Plus video. Palette Plus, right here. Today, we're gonna print a really cool uh, butterfly on the Creality Ender 3. So, I'm not gonna go through the entire setup with you this time because if you look at the previous palette video, I did a full setup, how to blah, blah, blah thing. So we're gonna put it down in the box down there with a link to that other thing that we did. Anyway, so um, what I am gonna walk you through is how to use Chroma, which is mosaic software that works with the Palette Plus. So take a look and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Chroma, which is the software by Mosaic, to prepare this actual sliced print file for a palette. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we're doing this on the Ender 3, so I've got my Ender 3 Pro file set right here, and then I'm gonna load the print. It is the Butterfly 1 G code. Ignore this MSF G code, because I've already sliced this once. So right now what this is doing is it's loading the G-code file that I've set for four different tools and it's gonna combine them into one G-code file using the palette. As soon as it finishes determining the print settings, that's what's gonna happen. And when it's done calculating the bounding box, and analyzing the Z-lift heights, you're gonna see something really cool. Trust me. Here we go, we're almost there. Whoa. Okay, there we go. We have a butterfly. All right, so here's our butterfly. It just randomly chooses four different colors until you set them up. So, for my first tool head, I'm gonna choose black. And then I'm gonna choose the default PLA settings. Then the second tool, I think we'll use green. Again, with the default PLA. We're gonna use default PLA this whole time in case you were guessing. Third, we will use, uh, we'll use blue, because I think I'm gonna use a transparent, sparkly, blue, cool, colory thing. And then the fourth color, we'll use like a light purple that looks kind of pinky, so we'll call it pink. Don't judge me for my choices of color. So this is really it. This is all we had to do, is assign those colors in chroma so the palette knows what to do. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just save this for the printer, and you're gonna see it's gonna create two files. I'm gonna save these on my desktop, it already exists. Yes, I know, we'll replace it. So it's generating the files, and it's gonna create two files. One is gonna be an adjusted G-code file that's added this, um, the purge tower, and the second is gonna be a file that goes straight to the palette. All right, so I'm gonna show these in Explorer just so you can see what they are. So the butterfly MSF file, so that's the mosaic file that goes to the palette. And then this is just your G code file that's been adjusted and that's gonna to go to your printer. So let's go ahead over there and fire it up.
All right, we're done. So as you can see, if you, if you watch the time lapse, that was right before this part, um, this is the purge block. So what happens is when the palette is changing colors, it's gonna purge out each individual color. So we've got the purge block, we have our fancy butterfly, and uh, we're gonna take it off the bed. Hopefully it's cool enough that it won't let me. Oh yeah. Without breaking it. Without breaking it. Have I mentioned without breaking it? I'm gonna stand over here. There we go. All right, and here we have our butterfly. It flaps and things. So there's a particular reason I chose these colors. They don't really go together, but I chose these four filaments to do this because they're four different kinds of filaments. They're all PLA, but they're all different brands um, and different types. So they have roughly the same uh, temperature settings, but I just wanted to show you that the Palette Plus is actually able to merge filaments that aren't a 100% match. So that's why I did this one particularly. But you can see we have a delightful butterfly and it's all fancy. So anyway, if you like this video, don't forget, click the bell, do the thing, subscribe, like, leave a comment down in the thing down there and all the stuff that you're supposed to do on YouTube. And uh, this is Chris from Versus 3D here at 3D Printing Canada, bringing you another palette video. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care.